Hey there, this is Kevin from Epic Gardening. Welcome to my house here in San Diego, California. Today, I'm gonna show you how to build an edible garden so you can harvest your own delicious food no matter where you live in the US. This is Grow Anywhere. San Diego is a paradise for gardeners, but we have one major problem and that would be a lack of rainfall. So if you're growing in the soil, there's a couple things you can do. You can add some mulch on top, helps lock in moisture. You can use automated watering systems to use less water more efficiently. Or like me, you can grow in a hydroponic system. We don't even use soil at all in a system like that. And you use about 90% less water and the plants grow way faster. That's because in a hydroponic system, you have water, nutrients, oxygen, all being delivered immediately to the plant's roots. They don't have to go hunting for it. So kale, for example, might take nine weeks in soil, but maybe five or six weeks in a hydroponic system, which is about 30 to 35% faster. We have everything we need right here on this table to put together our hydroponic system. And I know it looks like a lot and can look intimidating, but trust me, it's really easy to put together. The first thing we wanna do is frame up a simple stand. You can use one by three, any wood will do. What we're gonna do is cut two five-foot pieces for the vertical parts, and then we'll have a couple cross braces. And then finally, we're gonna cut two 18-inch pieces on each side to sandwich those vertical pieces for some very simple legs. Now is cut what we call the channels of the system. This is where the water runs through and the nutrients and where the plant's roots will grow. So we need five 46 inch pieces for this next step. Now that we have the basic PVC pieces cut, we have to make some holes in the top to put our plants in. So I'm gonna drill equidistant holes, five of them across each of these pieces of PVC. Now that we have our channels drilled with our holes in them, there's one more hole we need to drill, which is at the very top of the highest channel because we need to pump our water up so it will flow back down. Now we have to take our PVC and attach it to the frame. And the first step is going to be using these brackets. But what we have to do is offset these brackets. So this first one's going in at the highest point, but then you wanna make sure that you have at least an inch of drop for every 30 inches of PVC. Otherwise the water won't run down and recirculate in the system. We have our return piping to put on. So what we're gonna do is just affix it to the end, just like the rest of them. The only difference is this time, it's gonna be running down to a five gallon bucket, which will pump it back up into the system. We're gonna drill one hole larger here, about two inches wide. That's where the water's gonna drain in. But we also need a one inch hole offset for our pump line to come up. And then we'll drill a hole in the side for the power cord for the pump to come out. I'm using a submersible pump, we're using a little fixture here that connects really easily to a half inch black vinyl tubing. So now that this is complete, we'll put our pump down in the bottom and then I'm gonna thread my power line through this hole we drilled in the side and I'll thread the rest of the vinyl tubing through this lid right here so that the lid sits flat. With the vinyl, we just need to get it up to the top of the system. So I'm gonna thread it through carefully. We'll pull it out the top and I'll come back down and use some zip ties to affix it to the edge here. System is all put together now. The last step is to add some water and nutrients into the bottom and then turn the pump on. The final thing to do is put our return back on and test the system. System's complete. We just have to add the star of the show, which are, of course, our plants. And so I have a two inch net cup here. This is what we're gonna place inside each hole. Then I've got this Rockwell cube. It's just something to hold the plant roots. So we'll place that inside the cup. We'll place that inside the hole. And then finally, we'll take some seeds and sprinkle a couple in. I've got some romaine lettuce seeds here. You can use all sorts of different things in this system. It doesn't have to be the same plant. 
In fact, some plants I find to work really well in this system are any type of leafy green or herb because they don't grow too big and get unwieldy, but they also grow very fast. I would, however, recommend to stay away from plants like radishes, carrots, or onions because they're growing for their underground root and they don't work that well in a hydroponic system. The plants are in, they're already growing as we speak. And remember that system, it did look complicated when we first were putting it together, but in the end, it's just a stand and some channels that water is running up and running back down. Pretty simple, all things considered. Now there are a couple of things that you wanna keep in mind. The first, you wanna change the water and the nutrients out of that bucket about once a week or so, just to get some fresh stuff in there. And then number two, just make sure that the pump doesn't turn off. So check your power because if the water stops flowing, the plants will start to die. But in a few weeks, I'll see you back here. The plants will be lush, full, and ready for a harvest. Welcome back. It's been a few weeks. The plants are growing in really nicely, but there were a few changes that I made while they were growing. Number one, I moved the system to an area that got a lot more light so the plants grew faster and healthier. And then number two, I firmed up the PVC connections with some PVC glue, made sure the water line was nice and tight. But right now, it's ready to harvest. So here's just an example of what you can continually harvest off of a hydroponic system like this. I've got some beautiful kale here, and if I'm not making it into a salad, which is one of my favorite things to do, I'll probably end up turning it into kale chips, where I'll just strip the stems out, chop it up, toss it up with some olive oil and salt, and you've got a beautiful snack to eat. Hopefully this episode showed you just how easy it is to make a hydroponic system, which allows you to grow anywhere, even if you don't get a lot of water in your environment, even if you don't even have soil. It's the perfect method. So I'm really curious to see how it goes for you. And if you have any questions, drop me a line down in the comments. And until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.